Hi, my name is Tori Hirsch, and I am an associate attorney here at the Nieves Law Firm in Oakland, California. Today, I want to talk to you about the potential outcomes of a juvenile case here in California and in Oakland specifically. So a lot of my juvenile clients think or worry that they are going to be going to jail for a certain number of months or years, depending on the offense that they're charged with. And that's not true because juvenile law operates really differently than adult law. There's four general potential outcomes of a juvenile case in Oakland. The first is probation, the second is suitable placement, the third is camp, and the fourth is something called DJJ. The order that I listed them in, probation through DJJ, is an order of severity. So starting with probation to get a little more into it, Probation in and of itself has different levels of severity. There's different types of probation. On the one end, you might be done in six months. You might not be required to even say whether you're guilty before you are assigned to probation. On the more severe end of probation, you could be on an ankle monitor. You could be enrolled in like therapeutic programs that your probation officer kind of monitors you might be on probation for an indefinite period of time. So that means instead of getting off in six months, you get off when the court tells you that they think you're ready. Next most severe is suitable placement. Most people refer to it as a group home. It is a group home. At suitable placement, you would be engaged in some kind of therapeutic treatment. Um, some are focused on substance abuse, some are focused on mental health. You also are going to school there and Suitable placement does not have a time limit. Your first review, your first opportunity to show the court that you're doing well and that you can be released, that's in six months. But there's nothing that says people have to be released in six months. It's not definite. So it is, again, up to the court when the court de determines you're ready. Third, camp. Camp is what it sounds like. It is a boot camp style facility. Camps last from five, nine, or 12 months. And at the end of those 12 months or nine months or five months, if you haven't run away, um, you're done. That is the end of your sentence. DJJ is the most complicated thing on the table right now. DJJ is actually not going to be an option. People will not be sent to DJJ anymore as of July 1st of this year, 2021. Instead, Instead of the state of California running these facilities, the idea is that counties themselves are better equipped to serve the unique needs of the minors in their jurisdictions. And so now counties are gonna be operating facilities that are rehabilitative and provide education. And the idea is to have them really address the needs of the people who would have otherwise been sentenced to DJJ. DJJ was, for people who were under 18 and who committed offenses called WIC 707B offenses. If you wanna Google it, WIC 707B, but basically what you need to know, it's the most severe offenses. Um, so instead of going to DJJ, those people will now be sent to facilities within their home county, run by the county that are meant to be rehabilitative. That's a lot to take in. And something else to know is that juvenile courts have a lot of authority to consider not only the offense and the facts of the offense, but also circumstances of an individual's life, um, your education, your home environment, whether you're getting the support you need in a lot of different ways. That's one of the reasons it's really important to hire a lawyer who is experienced in the juvenile field because People who know juvenile courts and people who know how to interact with the district attorneys and the probation officers, they are the attorneys who are best able to take the facts of your life and show them to the judge and the DA and the probation officer in order to argue for what we call the least restrictive sentence. That's the idea that we want kids to be in the least restrictive environment that the judge will allow. So we always want it to be the least severe type of probation, or if it's a serious offense, we want to negotiate in order to get the judge to agree to, you know, camp instead of DJJ or suitable placement instead of camp. So that being said, this is something that I love to do. I love to work on juvenile cases. 
If you are interested in learning more about our approach or if you're interested in retaining us to work on a juvenile case in Oakland, please give us a call at the number listed below. Thanks.